it's another day and another Steam Deck beta update. And this one has some pretty interesting things. Let's get into it. I'm Blaze2K. Okay. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content every single day on this channel. Let's go. So Steam Deck beta improves on-screen keyboard and offline mode. Ooh, interesting. Two areas that could use some love are being tweaked. With a new Steam Deck client beta available now with various fixes and upgrades. This available. This is available in the beta and preview channels, as always. That's where you want to go if you want to get your beta updates. To change, you can find it at settings, system, Steam update channel. Boom. So offline, offline mode especially has been a nuisance for a lot of people. We've covered that in previous videos about offline mode working and then not working in certain situations scenarios and it's been kind of frustrating for people that just want to take their games on the go without having to worry about an active internet connection right um just not working as expected la -la. um so it's nice to see valve has made some fixes there too so here is the change list all right are you watching are you ready are you ready are you ready so general they fixed the download downloads page crashing when starting in an offline mode that is a big deal downloads page now properly responds to online and offline status very good virtual keyboard now has a maximum width so that it doesn't stretch to an unusable size on large screens in docked mode that has been an issue that's plagued mine specifically um a couple of times when i hook it up to my USB-C dongle um desktop mode they fixed a couple of things in desktop mode so they fixed it, an issue preventing the virtual keyboard from accessing the clipboard and being able to perform paste operations very good fixed duplicate dialogues uninstalled dialog after opening the standalone keyboard or controller config fixed a regression where browse local files was no longer working yes that has happened to me a few times especially when setting up emudeck um, an emulator specifically fixed circular download progress indicator being broken in game entry list um okay fixed an issue where the library ui would not render in offline mode another good improvement for those of you that like to play games offline um a new big picture mode fixed issue where custom artwork and local screenshots were not found when running with dash new big picture um okay cool um fixed an issue where transitioning from desktop to bpm big picture mode and then back to desktop would cause the friends list to be signed out that happened to me um fixed an issue where advanced display settings were not visible outside of the steam deck um interesting okay um fixed an issue where the old big picture mode was started when the checkbox and settings dash interface specified the big picture mode should be the startup ui even though dash new big picture was specified right interesting that actually happened to me yesterday. I was trying to use Moonlight to stream a game from a gaming PC to the Steam Deck. And even though I had the dash new big picture mode um, launch command enabled, it was still opening the old big picture mode. I couldn't wrap my head around it. So they fixed that right away. That's awesome. Um, fixed virtual keyboard not working properly when brought up manually or by, or by automatically in the game. Um, interesting this is this has been a long a long-standing issue that i've faced mm, countless times um both in windows and steam os itself when i'm playing a game and i try and invoke the virtual keyboard it it just it doesn't want to pop up for some reason it's either delayed or it just doesn't pop up so i'm excited to try this one because like i says the pop-up keyboard the virtual keyboard and invoking it using the steam key and the x button has been the bane to my existence Ugh, or the bane of my existence i don't know what to say <laughs> but yeah it's been kind of annoying the virtual keyboard and that's why i recommend my bluetooth foldable keyboard with trackpad and um, with three different bluetooth connections that you can find in the video description um go check it out on amazon it is a lifesaver um valve's also being odd with the deck verified again they've recently moved battlefield one from playable to unsupported even though on proton experimental it works amazingly well and i only just recently did a video below to show it off and i was really impressed by it let's let's just take a look at this video all right this is from gaming in linux he's playing battlefield one on the steam deck let's see All right, we're getting 60 FPS here. 60 FPS on freaking Battlefield 1. You've got to be kidding me. That is impressive as hell. Who would have thought we'd ever be able to play a game like Battlefield? Battlefield. Battlefield 1. At 60 frames on a handheld console and still have it look damn good. Amazing. 
I mean, I had to, I had to, I had to just look at that. Kudos to Gaming on Linux for that article too. Um, Valve did the same for Ta It Takes Two, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit remastered another EA game, so it's quite likely this is a result of the recent switch from Origin to the EA app, despite them already fixing it in Proton Experimental. So, um, so if you're having issues with Battlefield 1 or certain other games, EA games specifically, switch to Proton Experimental because they have pushed out a fix that fixes the new EA launcher bugs. So yeah, there we go. Um, another deck beta update. I love I love the like how often we're getting these. I feel like every day I'm posting a new, a new video on a new beta update for the deck and it's so refreshing to see because look at Nintendo, look at other console manufacturers, Xbox, PlayStation, how often do you get system updates? You don't get them on a daily basis, right? So that's really encouraging. It shows that there's support in the Steam Deck. Go check out my other video I posted today regarding the Steam Deck 2 and what we all want to see from the Steam Deck 2. I'd love to know in the comments. But yeah, there we go, another beta update, and stay tuned, because I will be posting more updates on the Steam Deck beta um, channel every day or every other day. Whenever they release a new update, we'll go through the change log and see what's been improved. And let me know in the comments if there was anything in this one specifically that maybe helped you out and maybe fixed an issue you were having. Anyways, guys, I'm blaze 2 k We cover Steam Deck content every single day on this channel, um, several times a day. Um, we cover tech and gaming. I live stream on Twitch every day at 2 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, and 12 p.m. Pacific. So maybe follow me on Twitch. Link down here, blaze 2 k Gaming on Twitch. And hopefully, yeah. I'll see you there and have a great day and follow me on Twitter as well. Blaze2KX on Twitter. Anyways, guys, have a pardon me. Have a wonderful Friday. And if I don't see you the weekend, have a wonderful weekend too. Bye guys. Take care.